Okay, guys, this is more you away plays. So I want to talk about uh, cancer. I want to talk about how it has affected someone close to me. No, I'm just kidding. I, okay, I was like, Eric, Eric, for the love Come of God. Come on. For the love of God. I was joking. I was joking last episode. Um, so, Pissy, you work in uh, the warehousing business. Sure do. Um, you did too for a while. That is true. Yeah, I worked in technically three warehouses, yeah. although one of them was a private warehouse where it was like, it was, it was, it was a small warehouse, like the size of a Walgreens or a CVS or like Paris Hilton's vagina. Uh, I, I, I work in the largest warehouse in the goddamn world. Is it? I, what's the square footage? Uh, it's not the largest in the world, but it was when I started there. It was the largest uh, uh, of that company in the world, 1.8 million square feet. Damn, it's that's fucking that's, huge. That's, that's pretty fucking big. Indeed. And that's right, right down the fucking road, mm -hmm. too. I, I was asked when I brought that up to uh, Jake, who's obviously been on this channel before. I don't have to. I don't have to specify my friend Jake anymore. People who follow our channel know Jake now. Um, I, he asked if they had, when building it, had to account for the curvature of the Earth. <laughs> 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 like, I don't know. That's a good question. So, uh, what is, what's something in your line of work that like most people wouldn't know or think about? Like, what what's something like that happens behind the scenes? So, say. Say you work for, I mean, I don't know if you want to say. I'd rather not. Okay. Yeah, not say what company you work for. Yeah. Um. But uh, if you, if there is a way of saying yeah. without spilling the beans no, too won't much. Spill any beans. What's something that like the products that people would buy that your warehouse stores? Nah. Um. That pe like that some people wouldn't know about. Oh Jesus. Um. Fucking, I don't know, everything from iPhone charge. I mean, I work at a warehouse for a, uh, for a hardware store. We got everything from iPhone chargers to fucking... I don't know, everything else really does seem like it would be in a warehouse store. For some reason, iPhone chargers really threw me off. I was like, that doesn't seem right. I feel like I've never seen that in the shelves. Uh, everything else is what you'd expect. Fucking tools and fridges and, and, and paint supplies and things like that. Um, let's fucking see. Is there anything really out there? Man, I got nothing. It's boring there. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I could really fucking blow your mind with this one. Um, you worked in three hair houses. You got anything? I'll think on it. Um, when I worked in a uh, Michelin tire warehouse, it was because cr uh, so tires, understandably, can take a lot of abuse. Oh yeah, I mean, they, I would fucking hope so. Yeah. The ones <laughs> I've gotten on my car recently sure as fuck can't. <laughs> my can't. <laughs> You look at them and they fucking start deflating. <laughs> so good for them. Good for those other tires. And people that own them. Bastards. So there we go. they go through a lot of abuse and the stuff that would happen at the warehouse where I'm just like, man, if people knew, like, what we did to these tires. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> one of my friends at the time got fired on his third day for falling asleep inside of a tire. <laughs> I th do you know who I'm talking about? Oh no, is it someone I know? Yeah, it's... Ah! ah, I mean, I'm not surprised. Um, so, so we had those, we had these tires there. Falling asleep in a tire. <laughs> that were, uh, the, the minimum amount of, or uh, cost for these tires was, um, $30,000. Shit. Fuck off, Jesus Christ. Yeah, very big tires, very expensive tires. They're... So we had these agricultural tires that were like for giant tractors. Mm -hmm. Those were pretty big. These are the tires. Uh, funnily enough, they just called them GC, which stood for General Construction. Uh, they were tires that you would put on machinery designed to move mountains. <laughs> like the fucking Bagger 288. Yeah, like it's that, those kind of tires. Why we sold them there, I don't know. <laughs> because the consumer needs them. Um, Holy fuck, they bounce? Jeez, that, that one's actually kind of hard to dodge. Yeah, and there's another one. Yeah, those those tires, like I said, minimum of $30,000. There was this one guy that worked there who, uh, by definition, is a sociopath. Oh, lovely. Um, I did my research, too, so that's not just a... Uh, Eric's a doctor. He knows. That's not just a, oh, I didn't like the guy, so I think he's a sociopath. Now, he said that uh, sometimes, because he, he was mainly a GC tire picker, so he would... Uh, primarily be dealing with those tires and he was saying he said if he was ever having a bad day as stress relief he would drive full force at the side of one of those tires with his forklift 
and gouge the side of the tire and like rip through the rubber a little bit and then throw it in the trailer and uh blame the truck driver oh, lovely. somehow i don't know how you do that because like how is the truck how is it, this tire sitting in a truck going to be like <laughs> have a puncture wound have in a it, puncture, yeah. yeah i mean it's a thirty thousand dollar tire you'd think it'd be pretty formidable like there's just fucking four foot long blade sticking out of the inside of the trailer yeah and he was like it just feels so to know that you just destroyed 50 or thirty thousand dollars of material makes you feel powerful yeah, he said that. He was just like, it makes you feel good. And I was like, dude, that's that's kind of fucked up. You're fucked, son. Like, I I get the uh, like that that mindset of like, oh, wrecking something. I I don't have to worry about this company product because it's not my money. Hmm. Dude, that's fucked up. A what bit, the fuck bit. is wrong with you? I'll give you that one. Um, like Jesus Christ. Also, what a big risk. You know that yeah. if you got caught, you're not only going to be fired, you possibly might get arrested and fined. Like, well, I mean, if it is a sociopath, like you said, not being able to uh, experience empathy, you're not going to care about the other people's problems from what you did. Although you'd think that they would still have some concept of, oh, maybe I don't want to get in trouble for it. But again, uh, psychopathy is a fucking weird thing. Yep. Uh, this is faster, by the way, than trying to get all the way back to... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> okay, I kill me. I have uh, not necessarily anything to do with the warehouse itself, but in the warehouse I work, I've had so many criminals. So many criminals. Uh, there was a stabbing in our parking lot. Somebody tried to run someone over. I sat three seats away from a guy once while we, on the news in, on the, in the break room, they had the news on. They were talking about how somebody had broken into a uh, apartment nearby and had uh, an attempted robbery. The person who owned the place was there. They killed the person, and they were looking for the suspect. We find out a few weeks later, the guy I was seeing three fucking st uh, seats away from was the person who did it. That's fucking crazy. I was like, oh, good. I, I was just sitting there with a murderer. And, uh, it's, it's, I've only worked there four years. There's been so many goddamn incidents, and the one guy was, was, was fucking a 13-year-old girl. It was like, what the fuck? Do you guys not do background checks? Why, why do I work? Fuck. Um, camera, you want to, uh... No, no, you just figure it out. Seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> it's not gonna go at all. There you there go. There we go, Jesus. Oh, it figured itself out. Oh, man, that was a, that was a doozy right there. So, um, <laughs> Victoria, uh, where she <sighs> worked... Well, I, you know, I shouldn't... I, I don't even have to say where she works. Everyone fucking knows I met her at Amazon. She works at Amazon. Big fucking whoop. I she get fired tomorrow. <laughs> She deserves it, too. I mean, she's not talking about Amazon. <laughs> that's true. Oh, there we go. So that's how I would kill, kill them. I just drive Fucker. through them. Yeah, I just run them over. So, um... Like the guy at work. There is a article where you can Google it. Uh, I don't know the exact keywords to find it, but if you Google something like Illinois $3 million heist, uh, you might find it. So there was a heist. There was two or three people who were in... Cahoots, and they had plans to uh, collusion <laughs> Sorry. to rob a man of three million dollars worth of marijuana and torture him to death. Oh wow, that seems unnecessary at the end there. Um, like they le legitimately had meetups, they had plans, they had uh, they had everything figured out, and they were going to go through with it. And the FBI was on the case, and uh, they got busted. One of those guys. Who, by the way, is six foot six. Um, I think he's like 390 pounds of pure muscle. Big guy. Like, the guy looks like two of Arnold Schwarzenegger's in his prime. <laughs> like, no, not. I'd say realistically, he looks like one Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime. B uh, bad enough, honestly. I'm not, I'm not fucking with that. But covered in like gang tattoos, neck tattoos, face tattoos. And uh, so Victoria showed me this article, and I was like, wow. That's crazy that that guy like that's you're almost like working with a celebrity like that's crazy and she was like yeah I've actually seen the guy working there before he has a house arrest bracelet on his ankle that he's had for a while mm -hmm. uh, and then he wasn't at Amazon for a little bit and he was planning a, uh, a murder and now he's back at Amazon oh and, uh, they're still awaiting like the court case but I was like they just allowed the man who got busted for an attempted $3 million heist, rape, or not rape, uh, torture and murder scheme. 
like all the evidence was there and the man's just working for Amazon? Bail. He didn't go through with it. Oh, so. oh by the way, bail was $300,000. There you go. Um, Get a bonds and he's out the next day. And then you can actually have a legitimate real life bounty hunter come Why after you if you don't pay that. Red. That's true. That's I don't know true. if you know that. Bonds collectors oh, are, yeah, are yeah. actual bounty hunters. They yeah. have the authority to break into a house uh, without a warrant. Yeah, I mean, you're a criminal at that point. If you're not paying back the bond that got the, you know, can possibly convicted, not quite, not convicted yet, but, you know, accused criminal out. That makes, you know, there's, there's an a, industry. There's a couple YouTube channels where, uh, or ma mainly just one. The other ones uh, just aren't as interesting to me, and it seems like they fake a lot of shit. But there's this one where it's very genuine. Uh, they don't play or hype anything up, um, at least to my knowledge. But uh, yeah, they just have body cams on, and it just shows them like going into a house and uh, looking through the house and finding someone hiding in like a laundry machine to hide from the bondsmen, and then they just drag him out of the house. Man, you don't need YouTube videos for that. Haven't you seen Dog the Bounty Hunter? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like that, but not I know. That's a, that's, a, that's a fucking reality show. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Which reality shows, as everyone knows, aren't real. Yeah. They're yeah. fucking yeah. fake as fuck. Right. Yeah, there's not much going on there. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's cool watching that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think you've shown me a video or two. At least I know I've seen it, and I know I didn't look it out myself, so I'm gonna assume it was you. Probably. So yeah, it's kind of crazy that like that guy just works at Amazon. He's still there. Like, he could theoretically right now be five feet away from my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. like, it's fucking crazy. Well, to let's me. hope so. Let's hope so. Um, so next time you're gonna buy your box of condoms on Amazon, just know that a uh, con uh, not convicted, an accused felon might be shipping them to you. Yeah, he might have been the one that uh, put them in that box and taped it up. I'm trying to think of just other stuff. Just poking holes in them. Uh, when I was a porter at a dealership, um, I was in charge of when a car was sold, I would have to, uh, me and a, the other porters, we would have to detail and completely clean the car. Right. And then I would, uh, I don't know why, it was always me. They always made me park it in the delivery bay. Um, but anyways, uh, there was this one guy there who his shtick was he would take a razor blade and he would engrave his initials on the inside of the car, like, in the body paint. If I bought a car from a dealership and I just paid like 20 grand on a new car and some fucking Melvin-ass douchebag <laughs> and Melvin engraved his initials into the car, I would, I would just be like, that's it. I'm on a hunt. He dies today. I'm, I'm going to fucking this guy. Not really, but I would I would take the car back and I would just be like, give me a brand new fucking car right now. And fire that little shit. And fire him. In fact, let me beat the shit out of his pussy. Then you fire him. And then let me beat his little boy pussy into submission. <laughs> his boy pussy. <laughs> hey, Kira, where is, uh... Kira. Kira, where She's is... She's not even here. She's just off fucking around. Kira! Kira! Oh, let's give the Kira? that that animal thingy I caught. I gotta give that back to the guy. I have no memory of you catching an animal thingy. You mean Daxter? You'll you'll recognize it when you see it. Lies. Lies. You'll also love the voice actor. Oh, oh, is that sarcasm? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Shut the Why does nobody have doors in this fucking place? Oh, it is you. Oh, that thing. Muse. You saved her. Oh, you really are the best. Here. Take this power cell. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. I actually, <laughs> from my childhood, remembered him as being way more like surfer punk stoner. Yeah, kind of that voice. was more southern. Yeah, that wasn't as extreme as I thought it also, was. Also, so was the creature called a muse or was its name muse? I don't really know. It's just if he calls it muse and I got my inspiration back. I don't know if you know your Greek mythology, but that was what the muses did. They yeah. inspired out of those. Like, oh, that's kind of cute. So you do know your Greek mythology. Favorite Greek god, go now. Everyone in the comments, tell me. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, if you say Hercules, I will punch you in the dick. I don't know enough about Greek gods fuck to you. know that. What's yours? Oh, I don't know. Man, I was just fucking around. Poseidon, I guess. He's You're funny. a phony! <laughs> there was fucking, uh, Caligula, Roman Emperor Caligula. He, uh, uh, the, 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 the Roman version of Poseidon was Neptune. He wanted to go to war with him. So he had his soldiers row out into the middle of the ocean and just start throwing spears into the water. Ah, effective. Yeah. Guess who won that war? The ocean? I'm gonna assume, yeah, the fucking ocean. <laughs> so to Amazon, okay, so Amazon, 
there's there is something that um went on behind the scenes that you probably want to think about. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of those, f it was a flashlight. Yeah. But it was an anime themed flashlight. So it like, I imagine the packaging was all like fucking. What would it be, Weibo or waif waifu? Or Weibo is somebody Weibu. who's not Japanese that's really into Japanese shit. Waifu is uh, the term that uh, some gamers use as a joke, as like video game girls and shit they want. Oh, it's just here. Thanks, Wumba, whatever the fuck your name was. Not Wumba. You that was the other game. There she is. Oh yeah, we're under, we're under, we're under everything. Those are also the loosest fucking uh, suspenders. What, what good do those do you? Yeah, right. They're not holding shit up. You see her underwear though? Yeah. Slut. Oh, she. Oh, Daxter is fucking. He wants to climb inside that puss. Don't blame him. He could fit a. He could probably fit a considerable considerable amount of bo uh, of his body in her. Likely, vagina. yeah. Probably. I mean, realistically thinking. Yeah, women are women are eighty percent vagina, aren't they? I mean, him fisting her would probably be like the equivalent of like a, a mid to small sized penis yeah. pleasuring her. So it's like, yeah, two fists aren't enough. Yeah, he'd probably have to two fist it. What's with her fucking gloves? Did you see that? How it like flares out? Yeah, but like as far as I can tell, her hands were still bare. She was just wearing weird bracers, like bell bottoms for her arms. Oh shit! Oh, okay. So avoid those. All right, gotcha. Got it. Thanks for letting us know. She probably did let us know. We just talked over. Yeah. Discussing what you could fit inside of her. So one day we had this flashlight, and um, I noticed that like the packaging looked like it was kind of half broken open, and I was like, I don't know if I, I don't oh, feel comfortable no. like. Yeah. Putting this out. Not a like, sex toy. So let's seal those before they get shipped, huh? So when that happens, you have to report the item as damaged. Um and which it goes to a specific department. Um Jesus the damaged flashlight department. Alright. Yep. If it's gonna be damaged out, which means also we're gonna die. Um Yeah, I know. Maybe she weren't such a failure. Jesus, alright, we got it. Jesus. Calm down. So I was like, well before we just Give this to the department that's gonna throw it away. Let's have some fun with it. Oh, no. <laughs> so, me and my supervisor... <laughs> <laughs> ...stood there, and we took it out of the package, and it had, like, a, like a little anime girl face on it. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. And, uh, we were just fingering it. And I was like, this is just so fucking weird and interesting <laughs> feeling. Yeah, war with and, your and, boss. And it just eventually, cause, like... Did you put your dick in it? No. I mean, maybe. But, anyways, uh... At Amazon, you're in a warehouse with like about a thousand other people, so there's constantly coworkers walking around and stuff. So when uh, co there was just random people walking by, and I was like, "Hey, you uh, check this out. You want to finger this flashlight?" And I got a lot of people to finger it. In fact, I even got uh, one of the area managers and one of the uh, ops managers to finger it. Never worried you were gonna get fired over that. Mm, no. No, I knew who to show- I knew who to and to not show it I to. I get you, I get you. It makes me wonder if anyone has ever gotten a flashlight from Amazon that was accidentally opened, but still shipped to them. So, you are receiving a product that I- I, I would assume that by technicality is contaminated, because, like, you're not receiving mm -hmm. a- that- you'd think that that would show up sterilized. Like, I mean- I, You would hope. I mean, it's a thing that, like, you are going to... Fuck. Fuck. Let's just be real about it. I mean, yeah, it should be a sterile, clean object. One could only hope. But, uh... I'm sure that there's probably been a fleshlight or a dildo, and, and in fact, because some people are fucking nasty, I wouldn't be surprised if there's been a dildo that was, like, used, touched by a bunch of, co like, employees in an Amazon work warehouse that wasn't even cleaned. Like, the person bought it, got it, shoved it inside of their body, yep. and, no like, thoughts. it's got germs and bacteria mm -hmm. from, like, fucking a bunch of people at a Amazon warehouse. Yeah, no, I'm sure it's happened plenty of times. Clean your dildos when you get them, everybody. Yeah, you should sterilize that shit right when you get it. Glass is apparently a good, uh, good product for it, because it's not porous, so you can just kind of soap it up and rinse it off and pop it in you. Yeah, don't use, uh, like, silicone stuff that can absorb um, bacteria, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's very difficult or probably impossible to completely sterilize it. Yeah, I would you'd have to like so. you probably have to like soak it in boiling water. I'm assuming yeah, you want to get your glass, maybe plastic. I don't know. I never had a dildo inside of me, so I'm not. Uh, you know, don't take my word for it. But man, you're missing out. Do your research. Out. Just Google it, kids. Google it. 
All right. Well, uh, I guess that's all the time we have for oh, today. Oh, shit. I got totally lost in the conversation. I didn't even bother. Yep. Um, all right. Well, we will see you guys later. Thanks for watching and uh, tune in next time. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that shit. Bye. Holy shit!